when presented with the opportunity to support a biodiversity study at Cape Verde, we were eager to get involved. The Cape Verde Archipelago is one of only 10 global biodiversity hotspots. The water around the islands is teeming with life, with more than 60 species of sharks, rays, and about 18 different whales and dolphins. The beaches are visited by an increasing number of loggerhead turtles, making it the third largest nesting site on the northern Atlantic. Unfortunately, the marine life is under pressure, not only due to over-exploitation of fishing, but also due to pollution and climate change. As a result, SGS is supporting a study led by Biosphere 1 to determine the current status of the existing marine resources between the islands of Boa Vista and Mayo. While Biosphere 1 executes biodiversity surveys using divers and remote underwater cameras, SGS enhances observations with data from environmental DNA, or eDNA. eDNA is the genetic material that animals release into the environment. The fragments of DNA from, for instance, skin cells, scales, feces, can be sequenced and compared to reference database to get a taxonomic identification. The method is non-invasive and effectively identifies small, rare, elusive or morphologically similar species. eDNA samples are simply water samples. They are easier and safer to acquire and may be the only method that can be used in remote and deeper marine settings. Biodiversity loss is rapidly becoming critical. Maintaining and even enhancing biodiversity underpins several of the sustainability development goals as defined by the UN. In that context, more accessible monitoring methods are so important as they will allow us to mitigate rapid species decline more effectively. And through the powerful tools such as eDNA, SGS is committed to supporting you on the journey to sustainability.